Okay, <clears throat> we have two people, I guess. Yes, we do. Nice. So today I'm just going to continue from the last video. Um, so I don't know how much you guys remember or who is watching or even, but uh, so by last time we had made an application which looked something like this we can create a new tournament we showed the tournaments uh, when we open the tournament it showed the current ranking and we can set the results over here uh, and this was pretty much it like it had like the very basic functionality but uh, nothing else so today um, what I'll do is I'll build over it uh, because every time I've been building from scratch but you know there's no good payoff that's coming <laughs> so this time hopefully um, we should get a payoff um, before moving forward though I'll make sure that I have something in the git uh, I've added nothing yet so I'll go ahead and write git add dot and then I'll commit saying uh, first commit uh, after the first live okay fine whatever so I have a commit uh, and I have something in the git um, so if you're watching by the way just uh, feel free to send a text on the chat uh, it's always nice <laughs> anyway uh, so let's go to routes first uh, I just noticed if I open the page like on the root URL nothing opens it's just the standard rails uh, loading screen so what I'll do is um, I'll add a root to uh, and then it will be to tournaments index good so uh, this is how we can look at a tournament we can set scores and everything and this was what we had done last time so today um, I think styling will be a big part of uh, what I want to do today so for example this new tournament here uh, I need to make sure that the form looks good so let's just go and create the look at the form for this one um, so yeah yikes uh, it does not look good right now because because uh, it's not a form group <laughs> and uh, this is supposed to be like just a button so btn btn i guess success uh, good and here i need a class which is be which will be form control ah! it's a little big uh, but that's fine uh, and uh, then the next thing I didn't I think I need to do is um, wrap it into wrap it into a container fluid and a row and a column of MD6 Good. Um, I think there was a problem because I need tournament new here and instead of wrapping the whole thing I can just copy this and paste it here so everything is, is like well aligned all right uh, do I need a back button let's just let it be there it's not harming anyone is it and it takes us back to the tournament path which is um, should be our root URL but I'm fine with this uh, great so we have a tournament uh, form which looks better uh, do we have an edit tournament we have and the form still looks nice uh, just that uh, one thing that we need to do over here now is uh, add an edit and uh, in the edit I'll do the same thing So the edit form looks like basically better 
good good uh, so we've added some styling but uh, if and if you remember anything if you watched the last time uh, we had created teams we have created matches through code not through ui or anything uh, so let's define what the tournament um, should look like so at this point uh, when i create a tournament it should not generate any matches when you create a tournament you add teams first once there are a bunch of teams uh, then there's a button that should mark basically the tournament has started when you click that tournament start button uh, the matches are then generated and then sort of ram randomized for now and then we'll uh, figure out what the ordering should be what the ordering should be the correct ordering should be uh, but for now let's do one thing in the tournaments show uh basically this page we need to add a form where we have to get the team's name okay uh all right so i'll go to tournament show now here um we don't need another notice uh i think it's already in the application handle file it's not there let's just keep it for now um now uh, in the tournament show i need a form basically uh, which builds uh, builds the team up i guess um, so let's say these are the teams here uh, we can have an h2 which basically says add a team and uh, here that i need a form with uh, with the model being what will be the model hmm uh, it will be tournament dot tournament team dot build um, I think yeah that is that is more than it uh, more than what's required and uh, in the routes uh, we need to sort of add these resources here which will be for tournament teams um, and uh, i know the controller is not there yet so what we need to do is rails generate controller controller <laughs> tournament teams uh, yep let's just uh, wait for it to generate in the meanwhile um we'll have to add a url uh, because we are not uh, using like the standard resources so the url will be the url the url i don't know what's what's the correct pronunciation uh url 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 <laughs> i don't know okay uh, the post will be to this one uh path and uh, what else does it need tournament id it does so the tournament uh, id will be <laughs> at tournament dot id sorry great uh, and then we add a do uh, and we add a form f uh, now we create a form group uh, and there we create a label form label uh, now I need tournament teams um, what are the names of the columns I don't remember so I'll have to open schema and in schema we have tournament matches we have tournament teams great so teams name is name <laughs> okay and the points should be zero uh, so the label name um, and f dot input need in text input text input I put name again uh, and add the class which will be form control um, yeah yes that is about it f dot submit with the name let's just call it save uh, class uh, bdn bdn success great uh, now for the moment of truth this thing did not work text input is not right it's text 
field for God's sakes. Uh, <laughs> this is a so text input used to be in the old rails, or I think it was just called input at that time. And voila, <laughs> voila, viola. Uh, the team name and all those appears. Uh, it does look out of proportion, uh, like it does not look nice. Uh, probably I can add a card, card body. Good. <laughs> and uh, I can also add, let's say a row, and a row with column and D6. much better um, and uh, instead of h3 then maybe I can have a card title or something like that uh, I don't know if card title is the correct way to uh, say this again let's open my favorite one of my favorite websites bootstrap <laughs> so in bootstrap uh, I think I will have to open cards Good. Uh, now in cards, I need a card body. In the card body itself, there needs to be a card title. Okay. Love your. Okay. All right. Card title is fine. I don't want a card title. I want that uh, uh, nav thingy on the top. Yeah, this thing. Card header is what it is called. Oh nice, don't need an H3 now, add a team, good, uh, now if I write and enter anything and press save, nothing works because it doesn't find the action and why does it not find the action, uh, because it's not defined yet, so now we come here and we be like, uh, let's create the create action. Um, tournament is equal to tournament dot find params para para params what was that okay uh, yeah you could not find the tournament list blah 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 but uh, how do I find it I think this is the way <laughs> it should be in tournament ID uh now that i've got got i have a tournament uh what i need is to copy <laughs> the tournament params from like previous controller hmm. uh, in here we'll be like tournament team and permit name yep that's all we need to permit now if tournament dot tournament teams dot create and create what tournament params no it should be tournament team params so yeah if it is successful we redirect we redirect to the tournament with notice team added successfully um, else uh, notice team was <laughs> not added to this to not added was not added okay now if I go and be like team 9 it goes and adds team 9 uh, but it's still not sorted uh, because you know points here is nil, are nil uh, when in reality they should have been zero so how do we do that uh, um, in rails there's a way to set uh, set default value for integer after the migration is done so this is uh, something that I'm looking for which is very specific uh, I want to set uh, okay I forgot to add rails 
uh, I want to set uh, some default value but uh, I've already run the migration I forgot to add this default zero now how do I do that that is a desire burning question um, to do that the default for DB must be set at the time at which adding a default value on the table has been created won't work okay if your DB is already seeded and you don't want to change the schema the following hook will do the job basically they're asking to add a before save okay I think yeah before save makes sense um, tournament teams uh, before create actually uh, I want to set default points and uh, default points um, let's just call self dot points points is it points or point what is it I think it's points points is equal to zero if nay, unless self dot points if the value if there's a value that already exists we will not touch it uh, if it does not exist we will set it to zero so let me add a team 10 and lo and behold we have a value zero now all we need to do is set team 9's value to zero uh, there's a simple way for that uh, I'll just need to go to tournament team dot where points are nil so I have like a one this thing I can run update all points zero and uh, everything looks fine at least to me at least to my eyes uh, but now you would know that team 1 and team team 10 and team 9 haven't played their matches so let's let's help them play matches let's give an away win home win okay this is uh, <laughs> taking a lot of space so I'm not able to just press blah 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 <laughs> okay let's give this a tie home win then there's an away win for this I'll just do this home 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 away away home die 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 home 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 <laughs> home 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 okay so team 9 is scoring a lot played 17 matches uh, okay it's the last match and um, team 9 played 18 matches scored 15 points how sad So uh, just to recall, uh, let's say an away, a win basically gives you two points, a tie gives you one point, and a loss gives you zero points. So it's a zero-sum game. It's not like football where winning gets you more points than, um, let's say, drawing. Like if both the teams drew, the total point dispersed were two but if either of them won the total points dispersed are three so this is more towards ipl than epl okay three more games and our table is okay the table is done team 10 which entered late uh scored 18 points and it's tied with team 8 uh which is very very nicely distributed uh we've got this here okay the ui looks very 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 bad and i agree it does look very bad uh but what we'll do is uh we'll fix it up let's just do let's just take one thing at a time so we've already added how we've already figured out how to add a team um the next thing that we need to figure out is uh hmm i need a flag to sh to basically say that the tournament is um, running okay so right now the tournament 
key my if I open tournament has nothing but a name so uh, I'll just add a rails generate migration add started to or actually frozen teams frozen teams frozen to tournaments and teams frozen will be a boolean so if a team teams have frozen uh, you can't add more teams uh, and then I need to basically set the default value to false and uh, yeah now one thing that I'll do is I'll go to the show HTML file uh, and I'll not if tournament dot teams frozen uh, actually it's if not if the teams are not frozen we let the user basically create a new team so migrations are pending <laughs> and now they've been run uh, the default value was uh, false I have to set this to true uh, what I'll do is I'll go to T I'll create it to I'll get the tournament object and uh, um, oops yeah t dot teams frozen true what am i doing t dot save and now i can't add teams at least not from the ui i can still make an ab ajax call so we need to uh, fix that as well so what we do is we return redirect to tournament tournament is not accepting any more teams okay uh, if tournament dot teams frozen and uh, how do we test this so to test this what I'll do is I'll just remove this if condition for now and I'll be like blah blah blah, blah and save and it says tournament is not accepting any more teams so now we know that everything is working fine um, but another thing that I think we can do is um, we can't show matches if the teams are not frozen yet um, so what we we will do is um, should I do an if and else or if and if that's a question that I'm trying to figure out if and else will confuse my future self and if and if is much more verbose at least for now uh, so I'll just use if and if okay all right uh, the team's frozen but now we can see the matches if the teams are not frozen we should not be able to see the matches so we create a new tournament which will be tournament number two <laughs> you know number two all right so tournament was successfully created we'll add the first team team one we'll add the second team team two we'll add the third team team three <clears throat> now but there's no way for me to basically go and uh, start the tournament right uh, so just before that I just quickly saw that you know it's it's not looking nice I just need to add an h1 over here uh, forget about this name thing and uh, phew okay so this is how I add teams right team 4 um, let's just make it a 4 team tournament so uh, I need a button over here which when I press uh, that should basically mean freeze the teams create the fixtures and let's just move on okay so what we'll do is um, we'll add a link to we'll add a link to uh, we'll add a link to <laughs> okay uh, we'll add a link to we'll add a link to 
um, teams frozen I need to accept uh, from here um, now in team frozen if uh, we basically need like this button is start the tournament um, and the URL that it should go to is um, tournament path uh, for this specific tournament um, the method will be patch and params can I specify params I don't know I don't remember but if I can I will basically be specifying like this teams frozen true Start the tournament. Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, rails link to params. Query string parameters. I can add a body. I don't think I can add a body. I need a proper form over there for it to uh, be a body. Yeah, in, fa in fact, um, if I need this to be like atoms, I think I probably need to do this and uh, it gave an error. <laughs> uh, obviously, it will do now. Yep. Uh, should it work? <laughs> I'm a little skeptical, but let's just try. Tournament was successfully updated. Okay, it did work. How cool is that? Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, primary. Let's just call it primary. Yeah, start the tournament. Uh, unless. Unless the teams have been frozen. So now it will not show the tournament. Start the tournament button. Uh, even here it's not showing, and here also it's not showing. And uh, as you can see, we already have our matches, like the games that we need to play. <laughs> so sounds so sinister. The games we have to play. But um, how did we get the get, get the games that we have to play? Uh, that that happened mostly because. Uh, uh, whenever I'm generating matches and when, whenever I'm generating a team, I also make sure to create uh, like home and away matches for the team Okay, four concurrent viewers. Wow uh, One thing that I would like is can you just drop a like or something like that or subscribe? You know that that helps me out every time otherwise I'm just thinking will will there be new people will there will not be new people or something like that okay <laughs> okay uh, so i have a team one team one team one blah, 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 blah. like the matches are not in a good order but at least we get something and now we can uh, do this 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 uh have we finished all the matches no huh? yeah okay why are these stuck and these are not hmm not played I think all matches have been played for 40 to 6 yep uh, so all matches have been played team 2 is the winner this time um, although I can definitely change that like this or this and uh, away win is already there home is already there and this and now team 1 is winner <laughs> right uh, team 4 hard luck what happened Team for long. Mm. Okay, weird. But uh, yeah, thanks. Somebody dropped a like. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Getting getting this Borat feeling right now. Okay. Uh, great. So we have added how we have basically now added a way for us to add teams over here. 
uh, and start the tournament. When we start the tournament, we get matches and then we can set home win, away win, tie. Uh, another thing that I can, I should probably do is remove them options to change value if the game has been played. Hmm. So, if and only if the match dot uh, result uh, okay I need to go here now for this tournament match dot last tm is equal to tm dot result do I have anything else result home win Huh, is it is it text? Wait, did I tournament match? We have enum, so oh t tm dot not played. I can just do yeah. Uh, if match dot not played, so we will only show this. If the match is not played otherwise we will not show it how how nice right uh, okay very well then I'll just add a space so that I don't know why but I'll add a space doesn't hurt me my views hurt me <laughs> okay 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 so now once you play a game you can't play it back uh, is that a feature or a bug I don't know tell me <laughs> but that is what it is right now um, okay so we have like a bunch of things now uh, now this tournament is complete complete because none of the matches are remaining to be played and um, I can't add more teams so uh, what I'll do is I'll create another tournament and I'll call it tournament 3 great uh, start the tournament let's let's just show it only after let's say we have two teams at the very least uh, I don't want to like start a tournament just because or tournament dot tournament <laughs> teams dot size less than two yeah so I'm not showing it if the size is less than two uh, so I add team one and I add team two now it comes start the tournament very nice uh, team three I can also add team four and I can also add team 5 and on top of that get this and you know you won't believe but team 7 and team 8 in fact team 9 is a possibility and I can also add team 10 how cool is that right Maya? Okay, uh, I can also add team 11 uh, and I guess you can see where this is going. Uh, now let me just start the tournament. So when I start the tournament, bunch of matches get generated. Bunch. I'm not saying like one or two, but a bunch of matches. Okay. So now, hmm. I can just basically at this point start scoring good 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 so now as you can see there are like a bunch of things um, I can keep scoring I can score 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 away 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 score score blah 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 okay nothing's been recorded because i've been sending a multiple bunch of requests so it should 
it's a little slow why is it slow so we can figure out why it's slow because it's okay it's loading themes that is why it's slow cache but it's loading from cache it should not be slow but damn damn how many how many queries did i run the views take like a 700 milliseconds oh my god oh my god that's that's atrociously high 300 milliseconds is still large should not take that much should not should not but anyway what can we do right nothing actually we can do something but like not right now anyway <laughs> So we have like a small sort of functional tournament uh, this thing. So let's say if you want to start playing a game now, uh, you don't have to like get into code. You just get on the website, um, create a new tournament, start adding teams and start scoring. Right. So we have this lot sort of functionality right now. Mm, but uh, you know what I'm not liking it I think a bunch of things are missing over here one is uh, the ability for me to keep a score like I know who won but what was the score right um, now if I'm getting score I need to be sort of precise over here that uh, which how do we like sort of take the value out of it so for example let's say if i'm talking about football soccer it's just goals right if you give seven score here and ten score there we know who won uh in cricket for example there's this tricky part where you can mention the runs and wickets uh although it's just the runs which count for your winning uh so Let's just only take the first part of the score here and based on that we can figure out who won or who lost. Okay. Perfect imperfections. Okay. Uh, now in the tournament match Yes, in the tournament match, we don't have a place to score, let's say, what was the score, <laughs> right? Uh, so based on the score, uh, we need to calculate who won or who lost. Uh, so let me just check the schema real quick. Um, so tournament matches have home, away, tournament ID and result. They don't have a score. And can the score be in decimals? Can the score be like... 3.41 <laughs> it can be i guess uh is it always that a score with a higher number wins that's not always the case um so i guess to figure out what that should be how that should work we will have to define what the tournament is like uh, who, who like who, what does the scoring look like uh, and things like that we have to add up logic but for now let's just assume it's simple we are adding runs for team a versus runs for team b and then we get who win who won or who lost okay uh, so for that what we'll do is we need to create migration rail generate migration add scores to tournament matches so we need like a home score uh, which is going to be an integer it's always going to be a number for sure it might or might not be an integer so I should let's say go with floats is not what I want to go with I'll go with decimal and away score again 
decimals okay great so i'm thinking should i add one more field which is the winner's foreign key so that way i can reduce the number of queries i'm making should i i'll think about it later okay uh, all right let's migrate it let's migrate the database okay uh, now in the tournament matches let's say uh, before save calculate result so before save I need to sort of calculate a result and the calculate result will look like if home score greater than away score in that case self dot do I need self let's just self is home win uh, else if away score is greater than home score in that case the result is an away win okay and uh, else <laughs> do I need an else if hmm. I need to make sure that the game has been played the result will be a tie not tight tie but uh, I'll return if home score away score hmm interesting uh, I need to migrate the database uh, in the meanwhile what I want to do is nil or nil that returns nil I want a not so it returns true if I have one it returns false if I have nil and I have one it returns false if I have one in one it returns false so the only case when it returns true is when both are nil that's not what I want is it when I want uh, when either of them is nil it should return true uh, okay so nil and nil is actually what I want yes it's two great yeah this works uh, very well for us um, it should be an and without a not see <sighs> coding for seven years eight years and I still make this mistake like I still don't know what to do here <laughs> but yeah uh, so this is how we calculate result um, and then we go to show now instead of adding let's say who won or who did not win what I need to add over here is a score to add the score uh, if the match is not played we don't need that do we hmm can I make this whole thing a form Hmm. Do I need to keep it a table? I should not keep it as a table in this case. Let's see. 
can I make this thing a form? Can I? Uh, can I embed a form in table row in HTML? Now this is a qu question that I don't know. I've never done this. To use tables to structureize forms. Um, no, that's not what I want. Want a unique table row? Yeah, this is what I want. You can't. Your only option is divide this into multiple tables and put the form tag outside of it. You could end up nesting your tables, but this is not recommended. Hmm. I can have a TD. I can have form in each TD. That is what they're saying. <laughs> um, okay. This is going nowhere. So instead of a form, let's um, let's play with some JavaScript. Why not? So if match dot not played. If the match is not played, what we'll do is we'll give an text field tag with let's say home score uh, and let me see if it renders it does very nice so what I can do is again with an away score and uh, if the match is not played I can have like a, a set score button so which will uh, be like a button button dot btn dot btn info set score and uh, I need like a way to identify these uh, so I'll have a data tag <coughs> and in the data tag uh, what we'll do is we'll add a match id uh, which will be match dot id and uh, I need this everywhere um, here as well in fact um, so do I need just the match type ID or do I need to add something else I don't think I need to add something else but what I'll do is I'll uh, create this uh, like a form control uh, does that work if match not played illegal nesting okay illegal nesting because of this yeah data tag does not work <laughs> like that okay uh, what what do you want you want tournament match because I'll give you tournament match and uh, home underscore score okay no, you don't want tournament match, so I'll not give you a tournament match. Does this work? Yeah, this works. Uh, very good. Very good. I figured a bunch of shit on my own today. I'm like super proud right now. Like I didn't need to Google this shit. Wow. I remembered <laughs> how to use this. Uh, Bunty, what's yo yo Bunty suppose? But anyway, <coughs> I uh, this is where I'm adding uh, the score. Placeholder team score, team score, team score. Very good. Uh, do I need to add anything else? Form control, I think, uh, is a little difficult right now. 
uh, I should not have gone with that but is there any other way for me to just I don't know use a user input can I input group no 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 that's not what I want but it might be what I want the input group looks like what I want uh, but it's basically about a group I don't want a group uh, I don't want a prefan basically but uh, looks like nice enough uh, form control input group mb3 <coughs> so dot input group dot <coughs> let's just call a container fluid here or no Actually, what I want is basically like maximum width is what I'm looking for. Why am I doing other things? Right? I shouldn't be worried. Uh, no, 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 I want 55. That's 5. Is there anything W5? There's no W5. I can have a style uh, max width 50 pixels. Why not? Pixels is way too long, uh, way too short. Sorry, 3 rem should be the same thing though. And uh, I don't know, I don't need form control. But if I don't have form control, it looks very bad. <laughs> Is there a way for me uh, to basically get that styling but uh, without form control? Uh, let me just search bootstrap get input styling without form control. without actually using form form control Holder here, then. Uh, but yeah, two minutes to come. But five minutes, man. Um, okay, what did I do? Sorry, my brother is here. Hi, Tushar. What's up? Tushar bro, you didn't tell me what to do today, so I'm just doing whatever. Okay, great. Uh, we can add score now. Uh, we we'll like, okay, this needs to be <laughs> number tag field. Number field tag, yep. 
yep yep uh, and the max width now needs a little changing uh, instead of 3rm i'll go with 4rm like a little bigger <laughs> but yep <clears throat> now whenever somebody clicks this i need to sort of uh, submit the form and everything uh so up till here we have basically created the ui uh now what we'll do is enter the value let's say score of the first team and the second team and then set score based on that the calculation should happen uh now to set score what will i do uh, whenever this button is clicked basically uh, i need to application.js now document dot add event listener but I don't think I should do that what I should do is a dollar document dot on let's say click of button dot not button dot I need button this way data match ID and I need to run like a function here uh, which will collect an, uh, collect an event <coughs> and uh, here on this function uh, I'll just alert for now La 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 Okay, dollar is not defined because uh, I don't have jQuery I guess uh, So import dollar from jQuery I think this is how it's work. it works That is how it works, nice Nice La 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 can I get uh, event dot data dot match ID? Uh, is that a thing? Event dot data is not a function. Uh, so actually, I need event dot target dot data. Silly me, goody me. Event dot target dot data is not a function. Nice. So what is an eleven event dot okay not triple x I'll just call it <laughs> event dot target triple x would have made the stream not nice okay so I have double t dot data okay data set uh, is what I should look for okay my bad. nice so now that I have uh, this thing uh, the ID for the match uh, what I need to do is then uh, <coughs> get the value from uh, what is this form control uh, so this form control will be uh, score it will have the class score so in this dot score what i need is data match id is equal to and then a plus and then a plus here and id uh, this is what i want and then i'll use value uh, as like this and i'll alert like this 140 and uh, okay it's not a function apparently uh, so what I need to do is uh, write ID as 140 and then it's not a valid selector apparently even this is not a valid selector what uh jquery <coughs> select element from data value uh 
okay uh, maybe it needs a uh, something like a uh, 140 uh, as like this and then I don't need this yes this is what this is exactly what it wants so I'll give it to that And if I enter let's say 12 here, uh, I need to remove the alert from here. Let's say score uh, value is not defined of this function because <coughs> instead of score, I just call it home score. Let's just call it home score and uh, away score. Now I just want home score for now. okay again something is not working and why is it not working I have no clue window.tt is equal to this uh, sorry target but at least I have tt yes uh, dot val is what it is okay dot val La 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 If I let's say I call sorry ID as 140 and I do this well is not function because Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I have a value over here, but in case of home, I get well as a function. No, I still don't get it. So <clears throat> not cool. So now <clears throat> basically this is where I will do away score is equal to this and var home score is equal to this. Mm -hmm. And for now what I'll do is tt is equal to away score and home score. Uh, let me just see what what happens okay I did some TT so dot away score will always be it's not empty it's not nil it's empty string so um, what I need to do is return okay if away score is equal to empty string. Uh, ye do minute dena. Or home score is equal to an empty string. Uh, I need to strip them first. Dot strip. Strip them of their spaces, white spaces. So I think uh, dot strip is a function no it's not well trim is a function okay then a trim is a function so i know i don't have to strip them i have to trim them fine whatever uh if it is then we return and we put alert please enter score for both teams um, and let's say I want to pass them so what happens if I pass let's say a string like this so number is an an uh, 
if away score away score equals me in or number home score equals any n then also we need to return and just tell please enter a valid score a valid number for scores so if i do this please enter score for both i'll be like blah blah blah, blah. please enter score for both teams but i've added score for both teams fish okay but if i do 12 here as well it does nothing uh so the next time in the next stream what i'm going to do is uh, you know use the score and then send it to our database store it and there we will calculate who won and who lost um so thank you so much for joining me today again uh yeah i can't wait to <laughs> go live again next week and finish this thing up okay uh I'll close the stream now. Bye-bye. It's not ending.